Hi, I'm Scott DeUsa with Tether Tools. And in this video, I want to show you a script that comes with a Smart Shooter 4 called Focus Stacking. Now, uh, Focus Stacking is a way of shooting images um, with multiple pictures at different parts of the focal plane inside the image. So if you have a, a product shot, for example, and you stop the lens down and you don't have enough depth of field to go from foreground to background, you can stack images at different focal lengths all the way through to put them together and make one single sharp image. So I want to show you how to do that today and uh, let's go over to Smart Shooter 4 and take a look at what we got. Uh, here's a picture of a zoom recorder that I have inside of a light box and as you can see if I just take a single image of this the foreground is in focus but the background is not in focus. As you can see by the loop view right here in the middle. Um, so what I want to do is I want to enable a script called focus stacking inside here and scripts are found right at the top and there's a whole list of them that are included in Smart Shooter 4 but focus stacking is this one right here. Now I've done a couple tests on this and I found that 15 images seems to work well. Um, I'm going to be focusing them from near to far and I'm going to do them in a distance of medium. There's small, medium, and large increments in distance. And medium works well for this example. So all you have to do right now is you just have to hit the run button up at the top and the program starts taking pictures. Uh, so what I want to illustrate as you're doing this is you're able to see where the focus stack is happening on the screen when you're taking the pictures tethered into Smart Shooter 4. And that's a real big advantage. Um, being able to see it as it's actually working. Now in the loop view, in the center, you'll see that that dial is still out of focus, but as you can see, it's quickly becoming more and more in focus. So the focusing of the image, the camera is actually being controlled by Smart Shooter to go from the foreground to the background. And now you can see in the loop view that that dial in the background is becoming really, really sharp. So we're just about done running this script. And then I'm going to run into another program. Okay, so see it says finished. So now I'm gonna open up another program um, called Helicon Focus. And Helicon Focus is a program that will actually layer these images together. Um, you can do, also do this in Photoshop, but I find that Helicon Focus works the fastest. And uh, so I'm gonna open up a folder here in Helicon Focus with my last focus stack example. So here's all the images that I have from this we just shot. I'm going to say open and now it puts a whole bunch of source images kind of like layers. Now you can see that the foreground of the image is in focus but the background of this image is not in focus. I'm going to come up and hit this green render button and watch what happens. The program starts analyzing every single picture for its um, focus points and then it starts to compile all of these images together. As you can see it's, it's actually working it from background to foreground and it's gonna finish it right there. Um, now let's, I'm gonna save this out and hit save. And I'm gonna save this to my desktop and say okay. And now I'm going to go to my, uh, my desktop and it's the last one we have. I'm gonna double click on it and show it to you large. So I'm gonna zoom in on this picture and as you can see, there's the foreground, especially the line out jack right there the display, all of the buttons, everything. Up to the microphone capsule and over to the separate microphone capsule right here that is perfectly in focus. So that is what focus stacking can do in Smart Shooter 4 coupled along with another program like Helicon Focus. So I hope that tip helps you. If you'd like to see some other tutorial videos on Smart Shooter 4, please leave those in the comments section. And until next time, thanks for watching.